keeping me stronger. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Mellow D. E -e -e, and I'm back with another mother freaking video for you guys. How you guys doing today? I am doing well. I am doing fine. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everything. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I also want to give my subscribers a shout out. I want to give you guys love. I want to give you guys honor. I want to give you guys everything. Because without you, I wouldn't even keep on going this far on YouTube. So let's get on with this video. So in today's video, I will be doing a story time. A story time on something that happened to me like a year ago or two years ago. It was it was while I was pregnant with my daughter. So it's a story time on how I first got scammed off of Instagram. Yeah, I was heartbroken. And you guys would never, ever, ever guess what did I get scammed for. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and please turn on your post notifications because, guys, I got a good video coming for you guys, and let me tell you, you guys going to love it. So please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and join the channel, and please turn on your post notifications and add me on Instagram, Melody Chilius. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I really don't remember the day, but I do know it was around Thanksgiving. It was around Thanksgiving, and at this time, um, I had a seven. I have a seven. I had a seven plus, an iPhone seven plus. It was a rose gold iPhone seven plus. When I first came to Jersey, I had an iPhone seven plus, right? So I was in need of a phone. My phone, like, don't get me wrong. To me, it was good. I had an iPhone. I could FaceTime. I can do all of that. It was fine. But I just felt like that all the new iPhones is coming out, so I want to get an up-to-date iPhone. So at that time, the seven, no, the, the 12 Pro Max was out. So um, my friend, me and my friend was on the phone, and we were talking about iPhones and stuff like that, and she had just got the iPhone 12. So I'm like, damn, like I really want a phone. Everybody got a new phone, and I'm sitting here with the 7 Plus. So um, my friend had sent me this lady on Instagram that she found and she was selling phones, she was selling sneakers, she was selling boots, everything you could think of she was selling and it was for the low. So you know me, not really caring because I was in desperate of a phone. So I tried to find an Instagram for you guys but I just can't find her Instagram. I don't know if she blocked me or I blocked her, but she's not in my messages at all. And I wish I could really show you guys the messages, but this is a true story, y'all. And I was pregnant when this happened. After my friend showed me, you know, I was look, like looking on her page and stuff like that, looking at what she had. And y'all, she had some dope stuff. She had stuff I really wanted. She even had baby clothes. Like, and I, mind you, I'm pregnant with Melanie, so I'm like, damn, like, should I give me a phone and baby clothes? But I didn't put money down for that I put money down for my phone so I hit her up I'm like um hi um I'm interested in the 12 Pro Max so she goes okay um which color are you interested I said which colors do you have so she was like all right well I'm gonna go check my inventory and see what I have so I'm like all right so this is legit you know she said she's gonna check her, in her inventory so um she texts me she texts me back and like I think five to ten minutes it was like oh I only have I think the black one so I'm like alright the black one is fine as long as I get a new phone in the back of my head I'm like yes so I'm thinking this iPhone 12 is gonna be like six hundred seven hundred dollars y'all this iPhone was two hundred dollars two hundred dollars for an iPhone 12 Pro Max you know me I'm like oh like that's for the low low okay so um, when she told me that, I'm like, all right. I was like, all right, give me some time to get my money up or whatever, because you know I was pregnant with Melanie and I had my seven plus. So I was texting this girl while I was in church. So my boyfriend was playing on drums in church and I told him, I was like, babe, um, I'm thinking about getting this phone off this girl off of Instagram because she seems legit, she's selling mad stuff or whatever. He was like, no. At first he told me no. Cause you know, like just wait. He was like, just wait until, you know, we actually have the money to get the phone. I'm like, all right. At first, I was mad because I really, 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 really wanted the phone. So I was like, all right, you know, it's fine. I'ma just wait it out or whatever. 
So I had a little attitude. I ain't gonna find I had a little attitude because he told me that because I really thought he was gonna say, all right, babe. So then he came back and he was like, all right, babe, let's get the phone. So I said, okay. So I was gonna, I sold, I at that time I asked her how much it was. She said it was $200 plus shipping and handling. So I think it was like $235 or something like that. So at that time I had the seven plus, and you know, when you when you trade in on selling your seven plus, it's not really worth a lot of money. So um, at that time my niece, um, she needed a phone because her phone had broke and she had a 7 plus before so I'm like alright you know what let me just sell her my 7 plus mind you I didn't sell her my 7 plus for nothing expensive I think it was 175 so I gave my niece 175 and um, I gave my mom the cash so my mom can cash at me the money so I text the lady I think it was the next day and um, she was like matter of fact I wasn't even texting the lady. The, the lady kept on texting me, like every day. I know, like um, I told, I, I was telling her for like five days. Oh, I think it was like five days. I was like, oh, um, just give me some time. I gotta get the money. I gotta trade my phone in. So it's not like I was texting her first. She was texting me first, like, hey, are you still interested? Hey, are you still interested? Are you still interested? Are you still interested? And I'm like, yeah, man, just give me some time. Give me some time. So I should have also knew that that was a scam. But me not knowing, I'm feeling, I'm desperate for a phone. I'm not, I don't, I don't really care about that. So this one time she texted me. She was like, hey, are you still interested in the phone? Because someone else wants the phone and I'm not trying to give it to them because you told me that you wanted it first. I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. Um, I got the money, but um, I'm still looking on your page just to see what else I want. And I was talking about the baby clothes. I see the little baby Uggs and stuff like that, the little bucket hats, the little stuff, you know, like like the stuff that was trending back back then. So um, I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it right now. I shouldn't even worry about getting me stuff. I gotta worry about getting my daughter stuff. So after that, um, I was kept on looking, I kept on looking, I kept on looking. So, me and my boyfriend was looking on the page, and my boyfriend was like, babe, why all this stuff on here on, like, cheap? And I was like, babe, I don't know, but if I see something that I can hop on, because I really needed a phone, I'm going to hop on it, because I really needed one. Like, my 7 Plus was booty, y'all. Like, the camera was bomb. It was just something was wrong with my service everywhere. Like, I couldn't FaceTime. Y'all, I couldn't do nothing. After that... Um, she texted me one last time and was like, hey, are you still interested? I'm like, yeah, I have the money. Uh, let me just look at your Instagram one more time. So I looked at it one more time. I didn't really see nothing that I liked. So I was like, um, all right, um, I have the money. I just had to trade my phone in to get the money. She was like, all right, that's fine. But prior to, the girl kept on posting, oh, um, I'm looking for ambassadors. I'm looking for ambassadors for my, um, Instagram page and my little thing that I have and I was like, oh, I want to be an ambassador. She was like, all right, people She was like people who be ambassadors have to first buy something off my page So, you know me like I was really promoting this girl y'all like I was really posting her on my page on my Facebook I was posting her on snapchat. I was posting her on Instagram I was really making this girl get customers and she played me so she was like, all right, well, people who, people who want to be an ambassador has to first buy something off my page. So I'm like, I bet. So I'm like, um, tomorrow when I give you the money for my phone, hopefully, you know, we can work something out. She was like, yeah, of course. She was like, oh, and um, I was thinking about making you, making you an ambassador anyway because you're mad nice. I said, all right, you know, that's fine. Like, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm finally about to get into something or whatever. So um, the next day come and um, my boyfriend... I had sent the money to my, no, I had sent her the money off my cash app. I asked her, what did she take? She said she take, um, I think, cash app and Zelle or something like that. So um, I was like, all right, well, I do have cash app because I, I just made me a cash app. So I'm like, all right, so I do have cash app. But I told her, I'm like, oh, I don't have the 230 something. I have 175. Is that okay? She said, yeah, that's okay. That's fine. I'll just pay for the shipping and handling for you myself because you're nice. And plus, you're going to be an ambassador in my company. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. You know, like, I don't got nothing to worry about. I'm going to just keep it cool or whatever. So she was like, once I send you, once I send her the money, she's going to send me an email to con to, to confirm the order and how she's going to send me a tracking number and everything. I, and I can search it up on the internet. So I'm like, all right. So um, I sent her the money. I said, screenshot it if you received it. So she screenshotted it to show me that she received it. 
So she was like, all right, well, your, um, your tracking number is going to come to your email within two or three business days. I said, okay, that's fine. I waited. I waited. I waited. Mind you, y'all, I sold my phone to get the money. I gave my boyfriend an attitude just to get this phone. So, um, two days went by. So, I was trying to text her, like, hey, um, I didn't receive the tracking number. And, um, you know, like, what's going on? And plus, she was going to make me an ambassador. So, I'm like, oh, and, like, the ambassador. But when I sent it, the message, it was, like, person unavailable. I said, person unavailable? What? So, I looked her up. She blocked me. So, the girl that put me on, the girl that put me on to, um, to her, I'm like, yo, bro, like, this girl just scammed me. She was like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, bro, this girl just scammed me, bro. My friend was so hurt. She was like, bro, I'm sorry. I just know that you was interested in getting the phone. Da, da, da. I'm like, nah, bro, it's fine. Mind you, bro, I ain't had no phone. I ain't had no phone. I, would, I just had an iPad, bro. I just had an iPad. So, um, she was like, bro, I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. I'm like, it's fine, bro. I was pregnant. I was crying. I was real hurt, y'all, because I sold my phone just to get another phone. And I didn't even know that, that she scammed me. So, I had my friend text her. I'm like, yo, ask her where my money at, da, 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 da. So, my friend text her. Okay, so I have the screenshot of the girl. She's, so this is, this is what my friend said. And I do have her Instagram. Her Instagram is barbs.boutique. So, I said, so my friend said, hi, my friend ordered the phone from you for $200. What's up? Y'all. She did a matter of fact, after my friend sent that, she dead blocked her after that. Like, I was just so devastated, y'all. So, after my friend texted her, or whatever, my um, she blocked my friend. So, my boyfriend texted her, and my boyfriend was like, Yo, like, my girl just bought a phone from you. Like, what's up? She blocked him too. So, um, I was so mad, y'all. I was devastated. I was so hurt because I'm pregnant, you know, like, I'm pregnant and. I didn't really do nothing to deserve that at all. I was just looking for somebody to buy a phone from. So I tried to request my money back on Cash App. Um, she denied it. I tried to dispute it. They wouldn't let me dispute it. So I'm like, all right. So my mom worked for the police office or whatever. So my mom, I sent my mom the Instagram because she seen me crying and everything and I told her. So, um, my mom texted her and my mom was like, like, you know, like my mom was texting her and was like, Hey, I want to buy something off of you. Da, da, da. She was like, okay, what you want? My mother cut straight to the taste. I'm um, chased. She was like, listen, my daughter brought a phone from you and you scammed her for her money. She said, I work for the, for the police department. So I advise you to take down this Instagram before I come and find you. And da, 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 da. Ever since then, I have never seen this girl Instagram. Now, I don't know if she made other Instagrams and stuff like that. But, yo, I was so hurt. I was so devastated. I was so upset, y'all. Like, you know, when you're pregnant, your emotions is everywhere. And I was so hurt because I ain't have no phone and stuff like that. So, my mom and my boyfriend and everybody, they seen how hurt I was. And they all put their money together to buy me a phone. It was a phone better then my 7 plus um they have brought me the purple iphone 11 and i was excited you know it was a new up-to-date phone it may not be the 12 pro max but it was a better phone than my 7 plus so they put the phone together and they brought me the phone y'all yeah, was so excited for the phone and i was devastated at the same time because i'm like damn like i worked my butt off to buy that 7 plus like, I really saved up checks just to buy that phone, just so I could have an iPhone. Mind you, I had previous iPhones before, but that 7 Plus meant something to me because I grinded for that phone. So after my um 11 came and stuff like that, we all kept on trying to get in contact with the girl, but obviously, one thing led to another. She deleted us, she blocked us. So we was like, all right, you know what? It's all right, she got my money. Listen, she gonna get her karma, but I'm glad that my family loved me enough to buy me a new phone. And I don't mean to put her out there. Like, that's not what I'm doing this video for. I'm not here to bash her. I'm here to warn you guys. I'm here to show you guys that, yo, like, this is real. And I'm not telling you guys not to buy everything off of Instagram, but certain things you just don't buy off of Instagram. If it don't have an official website, and if nobody else have bought from there, 
that you guys do not buy off of Instagram. I got scammed one time and ever since then I would not order from Instagram ever 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 again my friend also got scammed off of Facebook market I would never order from any social medias at all whatsoever so I'm wanting you guys to please be careful because people nowadays is hungry for money and they will do whatever it takes to get that money so please be aware as mothers parents anyone be careful be careful be careful be careful but thank you guys for watching this video so much. I really wanted to share the story with y'all because I was thinking about it and I was like, yo, I got to tell y'all because this is something that you guys need to know. This is something that not, this is something that a lot of people do not talk about. This is something that people who have social media, they don't talk about that. But I'm here to tell y'all, I'm here to give it to you raw and real and uncut. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on your post notifications because I do have a banger coming for y'all. But I love y'all.